I'm Adam Bunting, principal of CVU. You might remember me from such films as Welcome to CVU 2016-17 and Welcome to CVU 2017-18. Join me for the next hour and a half while we go through some of the rules that are gonna make your life a little bit easier starting day one. First, page one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's not quite how we want to start off the school year. This is a message for everybody, but more specifically for the people who are feeling more reluctant than others. And you know, we all are at times. I'm Bennett. And I'm Nicole. We want you to know that people here have your back. On my first day in ninth grade, I was so amped up that I left my locker combination inside of my locker. I was freaking out because I didn't know what to do. Finally, I went to go see Heather in the Fairbanks House office. I was greeted first with a laugh and then with a smile. From that point on, I knew what CVU was all about. At the beginning of every school year, I'm always anxious about finding out who I'm going to connect with because I've been away from school all summer. However, on the first day of school, I'm always relieved with the amount of people who are there for me. I'm not saying that you're going to find your best friend on the first day. But we want you to know that everyone in this building is here for you. Now enough of us talking. Let's hear from some recent CVU grads. What was really important was really the community that we built uh, throughout the four years. Sometimes I didn't, I never felt like I didn't belong anywhere. Uh, there were always people somewhere, so I really felt like the important part of CVU was the community and the, the spirit that we had as a, a whole. I feel like friendship was the key at CVU. Without friends, I mean, you, I couldn't have done anything. So yeah, friendship. And I can remember one day walking in and seeing someone crying and then seeing other students that didn't know that student come over and just console and comfort them, which is really powerful for me. When I first got here in freshman year, and I just got to meet all the new faces from all the other towns. Um, it was really weird and kind of nerve wracking, but then everybody was super accepting. Um, and I just kind of made a bunch of new friends from a bunch of other towns, which I didn't know that I was going to be able to do. Um, and then I've stuck with them for the past four years, and it's been a lot of fun. So this year, I played Ultimate Frisbee, and I think that was one of the like best communities I've ever been a part of, and it really um, was like one of the best athletic experiences I've ever had. Um, like doing well in school is really great, but being a part of the extracurriculars, I think, is a really important part of high school. So that was awesome for me. I wish I had done it all four years. Okay, something that was important to me was having advisory every day and having that group to look forward to seeing. Uh, I really value all the really good relationships that CBU has and the, just the community itself. Uh, Nexus, definitely Nexus. I had the opportunity to do so many like internships and research apprenticeships and getting out and actually doing things hands-on and studying things that really interested me. So my experience at CBU would have been um, not at all as rich as it was if it weren't for my time in Nexus. What was important to me was um, gaining the confidence that I did in the last year, all the years before, um, and coming into my own a little bit more. We're super excited to spend this upcoming school year with you. No matter how you're feeling about this year, just know it's going to be great. My name is Nicole Leeton, your student body president and news anchor for this year's CVU Student Council News. I hope you enjoyed our Welcome to CVU video. Welcome back, CVU. Since this is the first newscast of the year, let me explain what it's about. Every other week, I will update you on school events, announcements, and highlights that affect the CVU community. For example, you'll hear about upcoming sporting events, theater performances, and important dates. Speaking of important dates, CVU at a Glance is this Thursday night, September 13th, from 6.30 to 8.30. It's a great way for your family to get to know your teachers and get an inside scoop on what you're actually doing in school. 9th and 11th graders, listen up. The class representative elections are coming up, so if you're planning on running, make sure the form is completed and handed in to Ms. Riley and Snelling by 3 o'clock on Monday, September 17th. Ninth graders, your election is Tuesday, September 18th during advisory, and 11th graders, yours is Thursday the 20th during advisory as well. This is not only a great way to be a part of student council, it's an opportunity to see a different perspective of the school. 
In sports, some big games this week are girls varsity field hockey on Wednesday under the lights at 7 at South Burlington High School, boys varsity football under the lights on Friday at 7 at Essex High School, and lastly, girls varsity soccer bright and early the next morning at 10 at Burlington High School. Come support your teams in the stands and make sure to follow CVU Hypox on Instagram to stay tuned on the spirits for the games. That's all for this week, and as always, we'd love to get ideas from you, so feel free to email us at cvustudentcouncil at cvsdvt.org or talk to a class rep. I'm Nicole Eaton, and I'll see you in a few, CVU. Thank you.